welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, one of you guys, in fact, my first one of you guys, the one that went through Artist Way with me and encouraged me to start this channel and have this outlet, is here with me today to make some breadboards. And I brought her to my favorite thrift store. And if you want to see what we did, stick around. This is the antique store where this guy just sells ready, project ready wood. So we looked around here, tried to figure out, she wanted to do three projects. So we tried to figure out um, what pieces to go with, how big. She had to keep it under a certain amount so it could fit on her counter under her upper cabinets. But these are very reasonably priced. So we picked one of these pieces of wood here. We went into my basement and got a brand new 10 inch wide piece of wood. And then we also went into my basement and found an old barn wood. So those are the three projects that we're gonna be working on today. Um, let's get started. So we're gonna start with the store-bought piece of wood cut down to a, a usable rectangular size. I'm showing her that sometimes it doesn't make sense, but if you're having trouble going through the wood, you might need to speed up your blade so that it goes through quicker and smoother. I'm also telling her not to expect perfection. We're gonna move slowly and carefully, and it's just wood. First, I just want to say how thankful I am that my friend who was using a saw for the first time was totally up for me filming her. She is such a trooper and such an encourager and I am so excited about how well she did on her very first saw pass. This is beautiful. I love this. This is exciting. Look, it's pretty smooth too. <laughs> Very cool. I got you to use a jigsaw. I know. <laughs> Did you die? Um, it was it was not that bad. It was not not totally terrifying. <laughs> Just a little. And terrifying. now are you ready to go again? Because you're like, oh, look at this gorgeous. Smoke. I think so. This is encouraging. This is very encouraging. That's very good work, girl. Thank you. Not choppy at all. Exciting. Okay, so we're gonna flip it. So here we're deciding to roll with it. Um, the jigsaw kind of went a little bit closer to the center than we originally wanted, which would have made the handle super narrow. So we just kind of copied the angle of the curve, moved it over first time, like, there really should not be any expectations. As you can see here, she is going with the grain of the wood and it's moving nice and smooth. But as she makes this turn right here, this is you're going against the grain of the wood. And did you see that just happen? Again, in slow motion, where it just kind of popped it up. You cannot really prevent that. Um, but we'll make it look good later. And then so as you move to the straight, it goes nice and smooth again. So against the grain of the wood, you kind of need to slow down. Next, we go to the sander where we can fix some of those mistakes. Oh yeah, hold on tight. <laughs> so she started the sanding um, in the air and was having trouble. So I showed her to make sure she's grounding her project, putting it against the table and then trying to keep the sander pretty pretty level and on top of it and just kind of slightly rotate the sander to the right and left to kind of round those edges. 
Next, we're gonna take that gouge that happened from the jigsaw and put the sander, just go with that gouge and sand those edges so it doesn't look like it popped out, but rather look like it was gouged out a long time ago. Here's the piece of wood that we got, $15 black walnut. And this one was a beauty. Look at the other side. Yes, I see that it was black walnut on the other side, but this side had some, it looked like it was from a machine. It was little divots, almost like they were taking the bark off and the machine got caught, but it made this piece of wood looks so cool. We could not stop touching it. Such a great piece of wood for $15. Because she needed to keep it under 17 inches, we cut a rectangular piece off the bottom that we're gonna use for a riser at a later date. Look at this yummy piece of wood. We wish we had smell vision because it smells <laughs> so good. This is the slice. Black walnut. Oh, man, that smells good. Mm -hmm. That would be good in a fireplace. We're not burning mm -hmm. this. No, no. <laughs> okay, do you okay. think that's a decent or you think I should even make it wider just in case? A little that's wider. Wide. Let's make it wider just in case. Just in case, yeah. Got a little wonky the last one. Right. Okay. Is that... right, so, what are his shoulders going to look like? What are the shoulders of that one? Okay, the other one's rounded and uneven, but we like it. What okay. if we tried? Straight across? Yeah, I definitely would like this part in it. But and then I don't that want way, the if you want anything taken out, that would be a beautiful part. Okay. Now, this could crack. It's already showing a little weakness. Mm. However, we can glue that, or we could do like, you can just leave it like that. I would just, it's going to require, not that you can be more tender, because you're coming through with the saw. Just be aware. Maybe go as high as you can. Okay. There. Now you're saying straight across, but you're you're kind of showing a little diagonal. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would say straight across, but that could look, I mean, we could just round that after the fact with sanding. Here we're talking about the 90 degree angle and it can happen. You just have to be slow with meeting at the intersection. Come from each side and be flexible because sometimes the wood can have different ideas. For sure, I would come here and maybe even stop short, right? Yep. And then come from here, stop short, or kind of, because sometimes the wood could kind of break off. Mm -hmm. It's on it. Now you're working with a piece of wood that has a mm -hmm. ridge to it too. It's not as flat as the other one. So it's going to feel different? Is that yep. what you're saying? It's going to start out different. It's going to take a second. I was like, why is it not going? And then it started going. I think the, the rubber was caught here. And then when it wasn't caught, it went. The rubber? Right? Yeah, like this part. Oh. Because it was like in the side of the hill. Almost, oh. And then it went. <laughs> okay. So we started on the evenly milled store-bought wood so that we could learn how a jigsaw moved. This one was not consistent and just required you to kind of change how you held it a little bit. But again, this is her second piece of wood. She's doing great. You now come from this way and then you can see where it ends up because if you need to angle it like that, you have the option, or you know, like, like that, you have the option because she hasn't gone all the way in. Because Oh, that's smart. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why didn't I catch that? So because we already had the camera set up, we're moving this way, but you always want your electrical cords to be behind you, kind of like when you're vacuuming a room and you have it behind you so you don't keep running over it. Same thing with the running blade and the electrical It's wire. not lined up. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we're not going to panic. Take it out. <laughs> like I'm not. Back it out. 
Oh, it's not as bad as it looked from up above. It looked real bad from up above. So Jen is a fast learner and she did not ask me once to grab the saw. No panicking because we were touching this great piece of wood. So right here, she tried to turn that blade a little too fast. And all you need to do is let go of the trigger, reset, straighten out the blade. Don't quite get all the way to the intersection of those two lines, but you cannot turn quickly. She's just gonna do one more little thing from this side and it's gonna pop right out. But you can't turn a blade too quickly in wood because it is a flat surface and it does it it needs a gradual angle to do a turn i would not sand this because this edge is so gorgeous as it is and because this is not like a straight down it looks like it naturally does this because it does i would just leave that like that mm -hmm. and try to curve your cut edges because that is new mm -hmm. to make it look like it was cut a long time ago so after sanding the black walnut piece, we moved on to piece number three, which is this section of barn wood. And she is a pro now. She is setting up her wood. She knows where she's starting. She's clamping it down. And she's got some confidence, which is so fun to see. So with any found barn wood, first thing you need to do is make sure they're all the nails are not in your cut areas because you do not want the wood blade to hit metal. There are metal blades, but don't try to do it unless you have the right blade. And here's a little straggler where she's learning how to just have some control and just slice that little straggler off. So for the store-bought piece of wood, we used a dark oil wax on it to try to give it some age. Not the look she was going for. She's doing some more work when she brings it home, and I will update that on my Instagram when she finishes that project. For this beautiful lady, we are using sweet pickens clear oil wax it is a food safe um, top coat so if she wanted to use this as our charcuterie board and put any food on it she could show this thing off when she has people over so it's going to be really dark at first um, because it's dry wood and it'll soak in and dry up and lighten up in color as 24 to 48 hours comes along. And the instructions on the Sweet Pickens product is you put it on and then 20 minutes later, you just wipe off the excess. Next with this barn wood, she's adding white. She's doing a very light handed, seeing how the thing takes the paint. Making sure that she takes a moment to step back and see where it's heavier and lighter and make sure it's balanced. And then we're gonna take a, an orbital sander to this to control what the look is. So here's a look at her new projects in her space with her gorgeous new backsplash. Which one is your favorite? Now that one on the right some more things are happening to it. She's gonna stain it darker and she's gonna do some color blocking with white. But here's that beauty. Again, it'll lighten up a little bit. She could do one side or the other. It's gorgeous. And then here's the barn wood and then you could have the plain side out if you are in the mood for some plain wood. So which one was your favorite? Guys, I would love it if you'd leave some comments below. Encourage Jen, because she is on here. Encourage her. 
and thank her for being the guinea pig and also for encouraging me to start this channel. Did you guys like this type of video? I would love to know in the comments below. I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.